I need to find Bane. Is the tracker responding? Not at present, I'm afraid. Let me know if anything changes. Anything. You'll know as soon as I do, sir. I promise. I don't like this.
Mr. Bruce. Bruce, are you... I will not in good conscience allow you to go. You're outmatched by these I'm assassins. What? You're not some hardened vigilante. You're a young man with a trust fund and too much anger. You're in over your head and I... I don't want this to be your end. Alfred, who do you see when you look at me? The boy whose shoes you used to tie every morning? The teenager you drove to his first date? While you are here every night, I am out there. The only thing between the innocent you and the may predatory. Be. No, not may be. I am. When the mugger or the thief stops to think twice, that is fear. That is what I am. That is why they hired assassins, because I am the reason the criminals breathe easier when the sun rises. So no, Alfred, I am not in over my head. Tonight will be in my end. But it will be theirs. I trust you realize you can't just waltz into the GCPD after everything that's happened there tonight. I know I can't do that. I'll have to find a way in that'll avoid detection. Indeed. Uh, look, I'm sorry about what I said before you left. I hope you understand. It's just because... It's okay. I understand.
We need more guys out here. Three seconds to tell me where you hid the extortion data for Enigma. You're a dead man. Three. Brandon and the boys, I'll take you down. Two. Okay, okay, stop. Just stop. I'll tell you where it is. I should try to use my new glue grenade to plug these pipes. Not Bane, but one of his men. 
The same one I saw at the riot in the precinct's holding cells earlier. I should scan his corpse. The victim was dosed with a chemical that caused temporary deformation of his physiology. I'll need to check the autopsy report to find out more. That computer should contain the autopsy report I'm looking for. I should check that computer for the autopsy report before I leave. Interesting. The victim was using a powerful compound with many similarities to the street drug Venom at the time of his death. It changes the user's muscle and bone structure, greatly enhancing strength for a temporary period. It appears that whatever this compound is, it reduces mental capacity in several ways, including severe damage to the brain's memory center. Prolonged use could seriously compromise the user's memory. There's Bane's tracker. All available units, we've received reports of shots fired inside the Coventry district. Witnesses describe two armed groups fighting over what appear to be chemical weapons. Requesting any available officers locate and secure the scene. Chemical weapons. I should investigate. I should hurry to Bane's location before I lose the signal again. Break up that fight and secure the chemicals. You gotta be kidding! the master of all men! Oh! 
are the masters of Gotham now! What you gonna do, huh? Ah, drink with me! in the canister. Brother, we are at the point. But the Duende Cobblepot has sent his men to oppose us. You must come. I have what I need. Copy 37. Delta 4 1 has been assigned. This looks like the spot. Now to find that canister. the canister blown away you'll never find it sir your suit is picking up trace elements of a compound used in the manufacturing of venom it appears the canisters contain ingredients necessary for its creation i need to find out where they've taken them uh may i suggest scanning the area they could have left something behind that points to their destination Looks like they're heading to my alibi. I got multiple calls available. Sending them out in priority order.
Just got word. The boss is on his way. The guy's a beast. Goes through all that crap tonight, and the first thing he does is get the business back up and running. Heard his girlfriend got popped, too. Damn. Takes a cold man to shrug off something like that. That's why he calls the shots. Doesn't get distracted. They say the Penguin was behind the boss's kidnapping. Wouldn't surprise me. Those two ain't exactly friends. Yeah, but I thought we had a truce. So? Truces are made to be broken. Keep an eye on that canister. You know how much this stuff's worth? More than us, apparently. What's your problem? Guess you haven't heard. Someone's been coming after these things. Whoa, what do you mean? Where do you think everyone else is? They got taken out. Man, I hope the boss gets here soon. Okay. Yo, he was up. Hey. Hey. No. Go check out that. Ah! Pretty sure. You got to You got to Saves me the trouble of having to hunt you down. You just don't know when to quit, Sionis. Guess we've got that in common. One way or another, I'm taking you in. Now we can do this the easy way, or... Yeah, yeah, or, or the hard way. But I think you know my choice. Reflexes. With everything going on in Gotham tonight, you'll just... Put him on a... Hey, go! Oh. I'll consider not coming after you. I can do this all night. You really should mind your own business. Together we can shut him down! No! I've got the numbers here, Bash. We don't. GCPD know Roman Sionis has been apprehended. They can pick him up at the church. Straight away, sir. You know what's so great about you, Batman? Even when I lose, I win. So go ahead. Call the cops. They'll lock me up, sure. But my lawyer will have me out on bail before the sun's up. And you know what I'm gonna do when I get out? I'm gonna dedicate every waking minute to tracking you down and taking you out. And the best part is, there's not a damn thing you can do about it.
Because that justice system you love so much, it's a scam. And you, <laughs> but you're the mark. Because you keep tossing us in, and we keep bouncing right back out. him! was coming from somewhere down that tunnel. Try to use my glue grenade to create a raft.
another torture, you be- <laughs> Tracking device is in here somewhere, which means Bane is likely in here as well. Project TN1. Looks like Bane's experimenting with a new form of venom. Whatever it is, it must be what caused the physiological changes I saw in the corpse back at the GCPD. Impressive work. But it looks like Bane hasn't found a way to counter the damaging side effects this compound has on the brain's memory centers. Some of this research is dedicated to overcoming his own addiction and dependency on Venom. He can't survive without it. It is said that which does not kill you makes you stronger. But that which makes you stronger can often kill you. Addiction is a weakness, one that must be overcome. Venom has become my addiction, my weakness. To free myself, I have tried many things. For a time, I sought to eradicate Venom and wipe those who manufacture it from the face of the Earth. But lately, I've gravitated towards Project TN1. A replacement drug, which would eliminate Venom's addictive properties and holds the promise of a permanent effect. If it works, I would no longer have need of the delivery system. Another weakness. While early tests had to be terminated immediately, the latest subjects seem at least physically stable. But side effects are severe. Immediate and permanent long-term memory loss followed by a general degradation of brain function that leaves the subject primitive. Testing continues. The latest formula shows promise. Once I have eliminated the bat, I will dedicate myself to finding a suitable volunteer for my tests. End of recording.
knows who I am. You're not safe at Wayne Manor. I need to get back to the Batcave, and quickly. Suspect is airborne in a jet pack, armed with a flamethrower. Multiple hostages on the Pioneer Bridge. Firefly. He must not know Joker's behind bars, and he's putting those people in danger to get to me. Delta 65 to dispatch. Who's the OIC at Pioneers? Captain James Gordon is the officer in charge. lives could be at risk at the bridge. If I can hack Firefly's communication channel, I can learn more. And if the cops try anything stupid, kill a few hostages. Sure thing. And, uh, how long before we set the timers on the bombs? Not until the bat shows. We'll wait all night if we have to. There's 50 million dollars riding on this. Alfred, Firefly has hostages on the Pioneer's Bridge. I need to deal with him before coming back. Oh, can't you just let the police handle Mr. Linz? Especially in light of what we've just learned. I can't abandon those hostages. They're in jeopardy because of me. Because of the bounty Joker placed on my head. They'll be safe in the Batcave. You want the club? It's yours. But when the boss finds out about this, he will stay away if you...
send in your men. Firefly has the bridge rigged with explosives. Show yourself! You have a go. No! Call them back. If Firefly blows the bridge, there's no telling how many will die. You're the reason those people are in danger. He's doing this for the bounty on your head! Give yourself up! I'm going to bring in Firefly myself. Don't send anyone else in until I tell you it's safe. You'll stay the hell out of this! You hear me? These guards tell me how many bombs Firefly has and where they are. So, what are you gonna do with your share? Me? I'm gonna buy a boat. Look at this guy. A boat? Moron. What do you know about boats? You can all quit your daydream. My boy over in Black Mask's crew set the bounties off. What? Said the guy who put up the bounties behind bars. Black Mask? Nah, some other guy. Man, you're crazy. Everyone knows Black Mask put up the bounty. Sounds like your boy don't even know who put up the bounty in the first place. Believe whatever you want. I got my sword. We are experiencing an emergency. Please evacuate the bridge. This is an automated alert. What's this? What is this?
are on this bridge. Four! Four! One here, one directly above us, in the bridge sublevel. And one more at each end of the bridge. Those are the big ones. That's all of them. I promise. Then I promise you a good night's sleep. Four bombs on the bridge, with the largest bombs at each end. I'll need to disarm this bomb before going after the others. after the bounty on my head all night.
I heard, but I still got a score to settle with you. I'm giving you the rest of the night off. You took an oath to uphold the law. When I see you again, I expect you to be following that oath to the letter. Yes. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Firefly's locked his hostages in a train car with explosives. Stay calm and stay quiet. Oh man, he's just gonna pull us down one at a time. Open the fire door in the train depot so I can disarm Firefly's bomb at the north end of the bridge. Get off this frequency! Now! Listen, I'm on my way to disarm the bomb at the south end. Have this door open by the time I get back. You let me do my job, and stay the hell out of my way! Damn it. Alfred, there's a fire door blocking my progress. I need codes to get past it. The police should have access to those codes. Perhaps Captain Gordon... Gordon won't cooperate. I'm heading to get the other bomb. Get those codes to me by the time I'm done. Right. I'll do my best. Is everyone okay in there? Yes, thanks to you. You can escape down through the central pillar. Soon as I clear the room, head out. You! You're the Batman! You'll find the police at the base of the central column. Screw the police! You saved us! You're a hero! Just get yourself and the others to safety as soon as I'm gone.
There's someone moving around down there. Possible Batman spot. Tracking target. Negative. Stay to your assigned patrol. If Firefly spots your target, he can set off his bombs. Roger that. Sleep. Get off me! Oh, no. oh, oh. oh, I feel sick. Get me down! Get me! Get me! So, uh, heard about the Falcones? What about them? Yeah, word on the street is the Penguin's pushing them out of the gun train. Penguin, huh? I always thought that guy was a chump. Who's the Penguin? See, that's exactly my point. No one's even heard of this guy. And he's messing with the Falcones? Oh, he's going places, man. Heard he's looking for some muscle, too. I might sign up. Count me in. Anyone who can push old man Falcone around is my kind of guy. Yeah, sure. I'll let you know. That's the bat? Ugh. Snow's gonna run red! Looking for praise, Alfred. I figured you'd say that. Would it kill you to lighten up a bit, sir? I want to see the look on the cop's face when I blow this bridge to Christmas future. He's burning vehicles now. I have the bridges on fire. Keep your distance. Don't provoke him. The bomb squad is nearly here. We need to get to that last bomb before Gordon and his men force Firefly's hand.
You say to back Nazi guys out, defuse these bombs and release the hostages? I impossible. It's only one guy. And from what I hear, he's got the strength of ten men. Please, don't give me that baloney. He's only <laughs> Man, I can't see. <laughs> As soon as I defuse the final bomb. We're breaching now. You're too late. Alfred, open the fire door. As you wish, sir. Fire. 
Firefly will pay for this. Is he is. There he is. Any last word, Batman?
He did it. You mean the bat? Don't give him too much credit. Something tells me that if you hadn't given the bomb squad the breach order, this bridge would be at the bottom of the river. Get him out of here. Eh. You didn't listen. Not big on taking orders from wanted men. I'm not big on taking orders from cops. I should have gotten to that last bomb. Yeah. And I should have given you access to that security door. But between the two of us, we covered it pretty well. Come on, damn it! All units, all units, code 10. This is code 10 confirmed at Blackgate Prison. Suspect identified as the Joker. You're going to be all right. I know I haven't always been supportive of what you do, but I understand now. Go. They need you out there. I can't defend Gotham. I can't even defend my own home. Master Bruce. Now is not the time for doubt. I can't do it. I can't stop them. No, you can't. Not on your own, but it's high time you realize that you are a man, not an island. And a man's strength comes not from just brawn and intelligence, but also from his allies. C1 alert. 
The Joker has escaped from his cell and is leading the riots at Blackgate. Repeat, the Joker has taken over the entire prison. Multiple casualties, multiple hostages. Again, we have lost Blackgate. Captain Gordon is calling on anyone, anyone for assistance. They need you. No, they need us. Thanks for... I could use your help. Captain Gordon's on his way. Secure the gates for him, then help him lock this place down. The Joker cannot be allowed out of here. Yes, sir. We're on it. Prison Officer 47 to Captain James Gordon. What is your ETA at Blackgate? About five minutes. You getting those gates open? Yes, sir. I've been listening to the reports coming out of Blackgate. Everything okay? I should be asking you that. How are you feeling? Well, it's not every day that one's heart must be crudely resuscitated by defibrillation, but I must say I feel remarkably well, considering. Good to hear. Any arrhythmia, let me know immediately. Of course. But honestly, Bruce, I do think you have bigger things to worry about, right? Sending a strong electric current into the water. I should be careful.
over there. Hey, we're almost there. I can take it. It's him! Take him out! Just had his way with one of you. Now that's a 
take a good long look. You don't want to end up like this, you better tighten up your act. How are we supposed to fight them if we can't find them? Track it down. before leaving, they may be able to point me in the Joker's direction. Are you okay? What's it to you? You were almost killed. Eh, occupational hazard. Look, I know why you're here. He's in the Panopticon, and he's waiting for you. Stay here where it's safe until the police come. Yeah, I'm sure I'll feel a lot safer around a bunch of cops. Get this over with already. I've had enough for one day.
Apparently, the Joker's afraid of me. Wouldn't let me out. And for good reason. I don't like having my time wasted. You should have known trying to kill me was a waste of your time. <laughs> well, you won't have to worry about that anymore. Not unless someone else puts up 50 million bucks. I wasn't worried. Me die and you didn't take it. <laughs> I bet right now you're wishing you had. I've killed a lot of people. <laughs> I brought the city to its knees, 
crippled the police force, and it's not even time to unwrap our presents! <laughs> Ship it! Let's do this. Okay, okay. So, what our friend Vane holds in his hand is... a heart monitor. Once he clamps it on, every beat of his bacon little heart will charge the battery... on this electric chair. And when it's fully charged... <laughs> so either you kill Bane... <laughs> no, I won't kill him. But you will. You will fight me with all your resolve, or you will die. Someone is going to die. You, me, or the clown. The question of which one of us it is, is in your hands. Goes off, that's 2,000 volts. You won't make it. You don't need to. <laughs> Jim, 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 Jim. Have a seat, Jimbo. We'll fry together like two little potato latkes. <laughs> I, I got a pulse. I'm gonna jumpstart your heart. Kill you again. <laughs> May you find the peace in death that you did not find in life. I'm not looking for peace. I use my shock gloves to temporarily stop Bane's heart. My only hope. Look at him Oh, he is on a roll. Prepare yourself. Watch out for the Bane tree.
game is over, Joker. Let Captain Gordon go. Yeah, put the gun down, freak. How about I put you down? Gordon! Well, that's the Christmas spirit. <laughs> well, I'd love to stay and celebrate your victory, but I've got stockings to stuff, mistletoe to hang, and about 15 skyscrapers to blow up before sunrise. Ciao! <laughs> Thank God you had your vest on. He's, he's got my gun! Gordon, Joseph, I need your help to stop the Joker. Our help? You're the so-called vigilante. Or is one kill enough for you tonight? Bane's in cardiopulmonary arrest. I have only minutes to resuscitate him before it's too late. You mean, you didn't? That's not how I do things. Now go. Any update? I'm with the 
one. The compound I found in Bane's lab. I'll start looking into it now, sir. Now, Bane has taken an injection of TN1. We have ten minutes before it returns. After that, if he gets a hold of you, he'll kill you. Bullock, you're good. You read me? You will tank? Harvey, I need you to secure every exit out of Blackgate. Sewers, front doors, I don't care. Joker cannot escape. We're on it. Oh, 
These guys off the warden. Where'd he come from? This crack got stronger than he looked. Yeah. I know looking for him. Quite well. Had a rough childhood. Joker. He went through that door. Towards the chapel. Thanks. You might learn something! You might learn that we're not so different. You might learn something about yourself! You need to learn to shut up. Is all this for you or for me? You must know that I'm a lost cause. Oh, but there's still hope for you. <laughs> yes. Oh, I've got great hopes for you. So come on. Do stop now! <laughs> you just can't get it through your thick scalp! We both exist because of them! Give up! You've lost!
until it isn't it. You like the way it feels. It's what you need! <laughs> Beat me till your knuckles bleed. Why quit there? <laughs> you know there's only one way to stop me. <laughs> Any one of my guys would have killed him. The city deserves better than that. You know, my daughter thinks you're a hero. But I still have to bring you in. Gordon, come in. What's your 20? I'm in the chapel. We got the Joker. Son of a bitch. You caught him. And how did you do that? I had some help. I keep asking myself why I didn't bring him in. And I now know the truth is I let him go because of you. Because you believe in him. I don't know. They put me in charge of a station full of rotten cops. And I can't change them any more than I can change this damn city. Or at least that's what I used to think. <laughs> Stopped his heart. That is funny. <laughs> Good one, Bats. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun. Maybe. Maybe I can give them something to believe in. Maybe he can give them something to believe in. tried so hard, my dear, to show that you're my every dream. Yet you're afraid each thing I do is just some evil scheme. <laughs> A memory from your lonesome past keeps us so far apart. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? Another crime before my time made your heart sad and blue. And so now you make me pay for things I didn't do. In anger, unkind words are said that make the teardrops start. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? You'll never know how much it hurts to never see you smile. You know you need and want to laugh <laughs> Yet you claim it's not your style. 
Why do you hide behind that mask? I'm trying to do my part. Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? There was a time when I believed that you belonged to me. But now I know your heart is shackled to a memory. You won't admit that we're the same, and it's tearing me apart! Why can't I free your doubtful mind and melt your cold, cold heart? <laughs> Our next guest, political strategist Dean Snyder, has been following tonight's events since the start, more than eight hours ago. Dr. Snyder, let's start with you. What's your view? Well, Jack, it's a travesty. The ultimate failing of the justice system. A vigilante cleaning up our streets after countless deaths and bombings? What has happened to our police force? And what about James Gordon? He didn't exactly prove himself tonight. Hold on a minute, Dean. Now, I'm no defender of the GCPD or Captain Gordon, for that matter. Like you said, tonight's debacle is some reflection of his efficacy. But I can't see any police force in any municipality doing a substantially better job against criminals like this Joker character or any of the hired killers he's brought into town. I mean, these guys are a different breed. We've never seen anything like this. So for me, it's less a reflection on Gotham's cops and more of a reflection on the state of our country. A country where our mental health and education systems are so warped and broken that we produce criminals of this nature. You raise an interesting point, Hank, but what I'm wondering is what we'll do next. No, it's not an interesting point. It's just plain wrong. They're both wrong. This isn't about the police or the Batman. It isn't about the state of our nation somehow churning out a dangerous new batch of the criminally deranged. It's about the failing of one single institution. An institution which, in my view, represents the biggest threat to Gotham and its citizens. A time bomb, just waiting to go off. If tonight's events have taught us anything, it's that Blackgate is not the place to be housing our city's most dangerous offenders. Not one, but two prison breaks in the same night. All of tonight's tragedies would have been avoided if Gotham had a proper treatment facility for its top echelon offenders. A place with impenetrable security, where the most dangerous could be isolated, rehabilitated, and treated for their illness. A place like Arkham Asylum. And after what happened tonight, I promise the good people of Gotham that I will work tirelessly. I will lobby the city council, go to the governor if I have to, do everything in my power to get Arkham Asylum reopened. So we can all sleep a little easier. There you have it. Quincy Sharp placing the blame for tonight's events not on the Batman, not on the Joker, but on Blackgate Prison, and pledging to return Arkham Asylum to full operations. We'll be back with more from Mr. Sharp and our other guests when the Jack Ryder Hour continues after this message. <laughs> Figured you'd be by sooner or later. And what happens if I don't sign? You rot in here, or you work for me. It's been a long night, Alfred. Why don't you turn in? Wouldn't dream of it, sir. Not until you're back safe and sound. Well, if you're sure you're up for it, I've got a few loose ends to tie up out here. And I could use your help. You can count on it. And when you get home, we can finally have that Christmas dinner I've been keeping warm for you. For our breakfast. 